I know I talk about Kamen Rider a lot. I basically might as well be known as the guy who loves Kamen Rider, but in honor of me being mutuals with Stephen Sean Ford on Twitter, I decided to take some time and talk about the two times Kamen Rider was adapted here in the US. The year is 1995. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is premiering its third season with a three-part episode titled A Friend in Need, where the Rangers travel to Alpha 5's home planet of Edenoi, which is under attack by the evil Count Dragon. There they meet Prince Dex, who transforms into the Masked Rider, aiding the Rangers in their fight. Okay, so basically this super random crossover turned out to be a backdoor pilot for an adaptation of the 1988 series Kamen Rider Black RX. Why Black RX specifically? Well, it was the most recently aired full-length season of Kamen Rider in Japan, as by 1995 the franchise shifted into doing standalone films. Anyways, enough about that. What was Saban's Masked Rider about? Prince Dex, played by TJ Roberts, escapes from his home planet of Edenoi to Earth, set on protecting it from his uncle, Count Dragon. Dex is adopted by the Stewart family, consisting of parents Hal and Barbara, teen daughter Molly, and young son Albie. I can't believe I have to invoke the unholy name here, but yes, I'll mention Furbus, who is this bipedal alien that hangs around Dex a lot and had to be hidden from the parents for most of the show. Dex spends the show going to school, learning Earth culture, and fighting off the various insectivore monsters sent by Count Dragon. Speaking of fighting monsters, now we can talk about Dex's masked rider form. As mentioned before, it's basically the Black RX suit, though in one episode, Albie has a dream where he becomes Masked Rider, and they use the ZO and J suits for some reason. Dex receives two power-ups, Super Blue, which is the Bio Rider suit, and Super Gold, which uses the Robo Rider suit. He also has the Electro Saber, Ecto Ray, and Blue Saber, plus Combat Chopper and Magnum, his personal vehicles, which are also sentient for some reason. After countless episodes of battling his uncle's forces, it all comes to a head in the 37th, but actually 40th and final, episode, The Invasion of Leeward. Dex has to face the mighty Bruticon, who is so powerful, Dex's grandfather, King Lexian, suggests he calls upon the previous Masked Rider warriors of Edenoi to aid him. Yes, that's right, this is the episode where the I Am Amazon meme comes from. For some reason, they use the scenes with the 10 Legend Riders in Black RX, but got the names all mixed up, and cut them out of order. I'll play them side by side for comparison so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Holy shit, come on. Do not try to rise yet, Dex. How do you feel, young masked writer? Your grandfather Lexian sent us. It appears we were just in time. Bruticon is more powerful than we imagined, but he can be defeated if we work together. I am Masked Rider Warrior Leader at your service. I am Warrior Commander. I am B3. I am Rider Man. I am Masked Rider X. I am Strong Man at your service. I am Z Cross. Amazon. Stronger. After this episode aired, they had three more episodes, and then that was the end of Saban's Masked Rider, but only the beginning for Rider adaptations. After over a decade, Kamen Rider came back to the States on the CW. Kamen Rider Dragon Knight, an adaptation of 2002's Kamen Rider Ryuki, aired from December 2008 to December 2009. It follows Kit Taylor, played by Stephen Sean Ford who stumbles upon an advent deck while looking for his missing father. He gets roped into the weird world of Ventara, which exists on the other side of our mirrors. Unlike Masked Rider before it, Dragon Knight opted to rely heavily on concepts from the series it adapted, as well as borrowing names and phrases from Ryuki. Kit teams up with Kamen Riders from Ventara to defeat Xaviax, a warlord hellbent on restoring his home planet, while also encountering the Earth doppelgangers of his Ventaran allies, as well as Adam, his counterpart from Ventara and former user of the Dragon Knight deck. Just as a quick head count, we have Dragon Knight, Wing Knight, Incisor, Torque, Camo, Strike, Thrust, Sting, Axe, Spear, Siren, Wrath, and Onyx. After waking Advent Master Yubulon, the 13 riders join together and defeat Xaviax with the power of Link Vent. The Earth Riders have their memories wiped, while Kit becomes the sole owner of the Dragon Knight deck, remaining as Earth's only active Kamen Rider. There's a lot more I could have covered for both series, such as the handful of other characters in both shows, 
the weird name conundrum for Zaban's adaptation of Shadow Moon in Masked Rider, and a bunch of other production facts and information. I do suggest checking out Kamen Rider Dragon Knight and, to an extent, Saban's Masked Rider. Oh, and if Stephen Sean Ford ever sees this, thank you for being a part of my childhood and being my first introduction to Kamen Rider as a kid. I've been Brody Markovitz, signing off.